Who's your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? Hey, what's going on, Tremendous Q fans? It's your boy here, Way Morris, owner of Pitmaster Tremendous Q. And today, I am whipping up another grilled cocktail for you guys, all right? Now, for everybody that is new to the channel, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and cut on those notifications so you can get notified when I drop all my latest content, all right? For all my current subscribers, you guys already know, I appreciate your support. Thank you for returning to the channel, all right? Now, today, I'm feeling a little spirity, all right? We're getting kind of close to Christmas and spirity, what better than a spirit to celebrate the, the season, all right? So I know they say tequila make the clothes fall off, but I wanted to whip this thing up, all right? I, it's a grilled pineapple Corona Rita. Now, it's a whole lot going on. Uh, this video, I had a lot of fun making it. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys how I did this and then you guys can talk to me in the comments below, all right? Let's go check this thing out. All right, so a couple of quick notes up front. Uh, the prep time on this can take a little while, so if you want to cut back on that, you can buy store-made margarita, pre-made margarita mix, all right? And then the pineapple, you can do two different things with it after you grill it. You can mix it into the actual margarita, or you can just use it as a garnish, which is what I did, all right? So that's just, uh, a couple of tips if you want to cut back on your on your prep time for for this particular recipe okay first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the pineapple inside the cooker and we're going to get this thing grilled up all right now i'm just hitting it on all six sides i'm going to keep rotating it about 25 percent or you know one quarter of a turn and we're going to get char marks on all four sides and then we're going to get it on the ends as well another tip to kind of help speed up the process this is something that you can do maybe the day before and then throw it inside the refrigerator. That way, when it's time to make the margarita, the pineapple is already chilled and it's easy to cut. All right. You do not want to cut this thing right after it comes off the grill. You will absolutely destroy the pineapple. All right. So that's just a quick tip. A couple of quick tips in order to reduce the prep time on this margarita. All right. Once we got the pineapple all done, all charred up, we're going to go ahead and put that inside the refrigerator and let's go ahead and get started on our homemade margarita mix. All right. This is actually pretty simple. So I'm just going to make squeeze about half a cup of lime juice and half a cup of lemon juice. OK, once I got that done, I'm going to go back out to the grill and I'm going to throw on a water and sugar mix and it is equal parts half cup water half cup sugar it's probably a little bit over half a cup of each because the ratio actually calls for three parts water three parts sugar two parts lime juice two parts lemon juice okay but because i didn't want to make a huge quantity i just went ahead and reduced those all right all right, and with the water and sugar on, we're gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil. I'm sorry, water, sugar, lemon juice, and lime juice. We're gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll give it a quick stir and then we're just gonna pull it off. And this is also gonna go into the freezer, okay? I'm putting it in the freezer because I'm actually doing this recipe all at one time, so I want it to chill out relatively quickly. This is something else that you can do to cut back on prep time perhaps the day before, all right? Once that's done, go ahead and pull both your margarita mix and your pineapple out of the freezer, refrigerator, wherever it is to have it. Slice up your pineapples, and again, you can use them inside the actual margarita, or like I'm gonna do, you can just slice them up and use them as a garnish. Either way, it's going to look really good. I actually made another margarita, a virgin margarita for the kid, for the kiddos with pineapple and Sprite and they absolutely loved it. I tried it, it was really sour. So if you like sour margaritas, I strongly recommend adding a pineapple inside the margarita when you mix it up inside the blender, all right? But with the pineapple done, let's go ahead and mix up our, our margarita mix, homemade. It, and I tasted it, it's a little bit sour. If you wanna cut back on the sourness in the margarita, you can go ahead and add sugar, all right? That's the sugar will will basically reduce the acidity. That's the extent of my science knowledge, all right? <laughs> so I'm not gonna talk anymore on that, all right? 
margarita frozen margarita grilled pineapple frozen margarita let's add our crushed ice to our blender and go ahead and throw in our, our homemade margarita mix all right we're going to blend this up i'm going to use a little movie mag oh 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 back up back up i forgot almost forgot the most important part that spirit the don julio reposado reposado all right Gonna go ahead and throw in our tequila. Now we're gonna hit that blender button, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and use a little movie magic because if, yeah, you, oh, most of you guys probably got blenders. These things can be kind of a pain to work. Every once in a while, I added a little bit more liquid, make sure that everything was crushing up and slurring up and freezing up pretty good, all right? All right, so this is blended up pretty good. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test and see how the, the regular kind of classic margarita, homemade margarita turned out, all right? And I, I thought it was pretty good, if I do say so myself, okay? Shout out to the Grill of Hickory and the Agony of Burnt Meat glass that I'm going to be using to hold this grilled pineapple Corona Vita, all right? Let's go ahead and pour this thing up. Now, I could not find the half bottle Corona, uh, Coronas, so I had to use a full bottle, which is the only reason <laughs> that I did not fill up my glass all the way with mar with the with the frozen margarita okay it would have been an absolute mess if i had tried to fill that glass all the way up but i don't think any of you guys are going to be complaining about the size of the corona bottle <laughs> all right so we got a full-size corona bottle we got a frozen margarita done up we got our garnish in there let's go ahead and add that oh just a sec taste test Yep, that's that's Corona. That's, that's a good beer. Uh, now, let's go ahead and add that Corona. All right? If you see what I did there, I tilted the glass and the Corona bottle at the same time. Both of them kind of went in at a 45 and then the Corona bottle I just dipped all the way. And that's so I didn't spill it. And there you have it. Grilled pineapple Corona Rita. The grill of hickory and the acne of burnt meat. Let's go ahead and mix this bad boy up and see, see how it tastes. And um, you guys, I'm gonna just spoiler, like you're about to see it. This thing was absolutely amazing. All right, I, way better than I than I thought it was gonna be. I am super, <laughs> I am super impressed with this. I'm gonna be having a couple more of these and these are definitely gonna be going on the party favorites next time we have folks over, all right? If you guys haven't had this yet, if you haven't made this yet, and if you don't want to go through the long process of doing the homemade margarita mix, grab that store-bought stuff and check this out. All right. We'll see you guys in the next video.